love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace. Hey guys, how's it going? So yesterday we got a little bit done. We got the rock down. Um, the test bag that I made for the mix uh, worked out. I mean, I did eight scoops of dirt to a scoop of rock, heavier rock, and then I added the Portland cement, and the test bag came out solid as a brick. I mean, it's solid as a you. It's like a hundred pounds. Anyway, so that's great for the the foundation, and so we're gonna probably keep that mix and maybe add a little more, uh, like sifted rock, uh, dirt, sifted dirt rock, um, on the walls. We'll do some more test bags to make sure the walls are gonna be strong enough too. But uh, yesterday we did end up going into town again, getting some more. Portland cement and a few other things and I was trying to get a mixer a cement mixer but I looked online and um, all I could find was like three to five hundred dollars uh, it's a little pricey for me right now but uh, it all had to be shipped to the store None of the stores in Elko or anywhere around carry them on hand. So that's, that was a problem. I guess it saved me four, about four or five hundred bucks on buying one right away. So I got the next best thing. I got my pancake mixer. <laughs> it goes on the end of the drill. So that's going to be my mixing tool instead of a, a cement mixer right now. Uh, just the what I gotta do, just what I gotta do. You do what you gotta do to get through what you gotta do. So <laughs> we're gonna continue on the uh, foundation. Yeah, I'll turn this around. We're gonna put in the rest of the sandbags. I'm gonna start doing sandbags right away. It's already getting warm outside. I was up till. Uh, almost midnight last night doing videos on the editing and so yesterday we only got through to the one bag for the test bag today I'm planning on filling as many bags as possible to try to get around this whole frame so we'll see how far we can get I'm I'm wishing and I don't know I probably only have a few hours out here until it gets too extremely hot because it's been hitting the hundreds and the real fill is like 105 so it's pretty dangerous being working out in the heat like this so we'll get as much done as we can and we'll see how far we get and so check out our progress uh, we'll be back in a few